What's up everyone, today we're gonna ask a question, why are feminists ugly? Now, you might think this is going to be some kind of epic battle of some sort, but you may also have already noticed that this guy does most of the work for me by being quite self-evidently a revolting, shrieking ruin of an amphibian whose mind since early childhood has been impaled ass-bound on a somewhat rotund totem pole from a very eclectic part of the jungle. Check this out, I typed in why are fem. The questions are why are feminists ugly, why are feminists never happy, and why are feminists so hateful? And why are female birds not colourful? Onion. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Onion. Because <laughs> I think they came up with you. Why are female birds not colourful? Come on. It's because... It's a typical, almost universal trait in the animal kingdom that females do the selecting while males do the competing. Be it with plumage in the case of many birds and actions in the case of many mammals. But humans have evolved beyond that, see? <laughs> Thanks to progressive movements like feminism, <laughs> working ever vigilantly to make men more picky about who they're attracted to, and to make women love men just for who they are rather than what they do and to get women competing amongst themselves while men band together indoors you're now realizing that was sarcastic perhaps some of you are now noticing the ironic long form in which it also wasn't entirely sarcastic but in short Feminism is a good thing, because without feminism, we might have never realized that we need a men's rights movement. But if you're more interested in the other three questions, go right ahead, onion. Okay, can we please clearly define what a feminist is real quick? Yes! Let's do that! That is exactly... How applied reasoning works. Why are apples red? Let's look up apple in the dictionary. That didn't tell you why apples are red, did it? What do you need? A book about apples, onion. <laughs> A book about apples. And, and preferably one written from an, an objective scientific perspective. And not one written by ideological apple polishers. I do avoid the books written by apples. Because apples are fucking idiots. Feminism, the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. I know of zero feminists whose beliefs amount to that in practice. With the possible exception of Base Mom. Go Base Mom. I don't know why you call yourself a feminist, but please... Do what you do as much as you can. These people actually listen to you. And it's very possibly just because you call yourself a feminist. And if that's why you call yourself a feminist, then you are a genius. And officially one of my favourite humans. Rock the fuck on. Second definition, organise activity in support of women's rights and interests. Aha! I know of zero feminists whose beliefs do not account to that in practice. Exactly zero. This may sound like a disparity to you, but it's not at all difficult to resolve. See, in principle, feminism is supposed to, to be definition one, equal rights. But in practice, it is definition two, women's interests. And let me make this clear. I am fully in favor of the rights and interests of the German people, but if organized activity in support of them gets a little bit out of hand, then I will call myself an anti-Nazi. 
I might even go so far as to call myself a Jewish rights advocate. And when I am looking for the definition of national socialism, I will think twice before looking in dictionaries printed in the University of Berlin. So to all you people who are anti-feminist, you're saying you're against women having equal rights to men. No, 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 bad hipster. That is not how anything works. <laughs> See, there are two separate definitions, right? You just read them out as two separate definitions. You cannot just mash them up in your own head and pretend it was all just women having equal rights to men. If you're going to insist on being so desolately uncreative as to trap your cock in the dictionary every time your cult does something wrong, then at least actually take in the fucking information rather than just squirting the words on the screen and then making up your own fucking definition anyway. Second definition just in case you're fucking retarded and you didn't get the first time. You didn't get it the first time. You said a thing and then immediately forgot the thing you said. You are by far the most boneheaded dick fist. This side of Shanfire Pilchwin Girkogger Rindor Shantasilio Gogagog. Any word for five dollars, people? Any word? Within reason. It's a, ironically. You and I are actually on opposite sides of Shan Five Fifth the Gogger Crimson of Santa Silio Gogger Gog, so the joke doesn't really work. Feminism, the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Keyword fucking The keyword might well be fucking, yes. <laughs> for instance If you advocate for a woman's right to rape a thirteen year old boy on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men, then by this definition you are a feminist. But you're not an egalitarian, are you? Even though your grounds are egalitarian in theory, what you're advocating in practice is supremacy. Because your grounds in this instance are somewhat misappropriated. Applied, do you see? That's how this sentence works. The key word is, in fact, advocacy, because it comes before grounds in the clause there. Just like the Berlin Press's definition of Nazism might well have said something like the advocacy of Aryan rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to Jews. What we really need to look at is the advocacy, the way they go about advocating for this equality. Are they brainwashing children? Is there a Hitler Youth type thing going on where large swathes of young men are having their masculinity sucked out and replaced with something else? Equality, you moron. So it's not that feminists are just angry evil people. No, once again you're thinking of feminazis. <laughs> See? It's not the Nazis that are the problem, it's the Nazi Nazis! <laughs> it's not Islam, it's the Islamists. Feminazi is a radical feminist. Very different. Acting like all feminists are feminazis is just fucking dumb, because obviously they aren't. Noun. Derogatory. Fucking says it right there. It's bigger than your fucking head. <laughs> it's a derogatory term. That means it's not descriptive. It's not exclusive with descriptive terms. It's like saying there's a difference between a British person and a limey. There isn't. They signify exactly the same thing, but one term is descriptive and the other is derogatory. You're a fuckwit, dude! <laughs> and you're a feminazi. What is a Nazi, by the way? <laughs> it's like a baby Nazgul. Oh, that is quite cute, actually. <laughs> In my imagination, everything's cute. <laughs> In reality, nothing is. Otherwise, the literal black and white definition of feminism wouldn't mention equality anywhere. Do you know the difference or don't you? <laughs> it's like me going... You can't say all British people are limeys. 
Because then I wouldn't be able to say British people are your god! Now I typed in feminist celebrity and look who the fuck shows up. Natalie Portman. Yeah, she's so ugly, right? Let's find more ugly feminists. The question is why are feminists ugly? Onion. You're not going to answer that by looking at pictures of women. You need to talk to them. Yeah? Be because then you'll find out that the reason feminists are ugly is because they have hideous personalities. And hideous personalities usually look ugly on people. So some of those people wear lots and lots and lots of makeup. Here's another hideous feminist. Ew. Why are feminists so ugly, idiot masses? At this point, I'm pretty sure the idiot masses are smarter than you. And the idiot masses form a rudimentary superorganism that is about as functionally smart as a starfish. Which I think makes you a nematode worm's broken anus. Aw, oh, fuck. Julianne Moore, too? I have never thought about her sexually, ever. Wow, that's... I'm sure you're not creeping her the fuck out right now. See, that's what you call bullshit, because I've totally thought of her in naked situations. Smooth, dude. I liked it when you explained your sarcasm. The ladies fucking love that. No, seriously, there are totally not thousands of women clamping their fucking legs shut right now. Alright, also, obviously none of these women are necessarily mean or evil or anything like that. They literally just support equal rights for women, which is what everyone should support. And who should support equal rights for men? Nobody! Men don't need equal rights. Only women do. Because equality! Here's a girl holding a sign that says, I need feminism because my university teaches how to avoid getting raped instead of don't rape at freshman orientation. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. Not enough women are being told don't rape. Far from it, they're being told you can't rape. They're being told by law that when you envelop a boy's penis with your vagina, that is not counted as rape. This kind of institutional doublethink tends to lead to scaremongering fudged statistics such as... Because after all, 95% of all rapes are committed by men. It is quite possible that 95% of penetrators are men. One has to wonder what the fuck the other 5% are doing. But if we only counted envelopment as rape, then I'd wager you'd get a similar landslide of female perpetrators. You see, by your definition, if a 40-year-old female gym teacher gets a 13-year-old boy drunk and jerks him off, then she has not raped him with her hand, he has fucked her hand. And since yes means yes, if he can't prove she consented, he's going straight to juvie. Don't get me started on what goes on in there. It's an epidemic of prison rape, basically. Of juvenile boys getting prison raped by female guards. What's going on in your head right now? Is it that doesn't happen? Is it they obviously wanted it? Is it, well, blood, blood rushed to his penis so it's his fault he was raped? Now I want you to try and think about this while you're saying the gender flipped version of the phenomenon i just described so if you just pay attention to the world around you obviously that orientation is aimed at women acting like they're the fucking bad guys for getting raped and not the rapist for raping that phenomenon is called victim blaming it is also called rape apology and i'm guessing it's what just happened in your head when i said that you rationalized thousands of captive boys getting prison raped. I'm guessing you don't want to care about thousands of captive boys getting prison raped. You care about telling feminists how beautiful they are. Where do you suppose your heart is? And do you suppose that's the right place? 
anything. Anyway, long story short, I genuinely believe if you're one of those females who are stupid enough to hold up a sign against people saying that you should have equal rights, you are genuinely a fucking moron. I genuinely believe you genuinely believe that. I mean, you're, you're aware that feminism is not the same thing as women. And you know exactly which of these things you care more about. And you are not afraid to say so. I almost admire your balls. Almost admire means don't admire. A girl holding up a sign saying, I don't need feminism is like a black guy holding up a sign saying, I don't need Dr. Martin Luther King. I don't need Malcolm X. I don't need Abraham Lincoln. It's fucking bullshit. Those guys are men's rights activists. A feminist told me that. It's people like you who make me unsurprised that people like him exist. I know you don't get it, but the people who do are chewing the fucking desk with laughter right now, and it's worth it. People fought for your fucking rights. It's time for you to appreciate it and stop living with your head in the fucking sand. You have a very bossy mother, don't you? But no matter what you do, she's never quite satisfied. There's always something, right? But one thing you did pick up was her bossiness. Two significant factors arose in your personality. You're a very bossy person, and you have a desire to please women. A desire that is never, ever, satisfied. No matter what you do. Enter feminism, an ideology that claims to please women, but in practice just bosses them around and pisses them off and never gets anywhere. But now you get to boss women around to no fucking avail forever. <sighs> You know, <laughs> Freud may have been wrong about everything, but so is a fried egg, chili sauce, and chutney sandwich. And so is cocaine. Anyway, I think we answered the question, why are feminists ugly quite well? And the answer of that question is, they're not. Yes, some feminists are likely to be perceived as unattractive, just like many humans who aren't feminists are going to be perceived as unattractive. Look, I'm sorry this video wasn't my funniest, and I know it wasn't, but you've got to admit, I've hardly got a canvas to work with here. Normally, I respond to people who do at least have some kind of laudable, redeemable quality that I can eke out and work in to the comedy. But, as you can see, there is not a whiff of a shred of any redeemable characteristics in this person. He thinks he's a humanitarian pioneer, and all he does is bitch at women and tell them what to think, and occasionally lech very fucking creepily over unobtainable celebrities. This guy is how religions start. <laughs> the only thing stopping him from throwing every man on earth into the fucking gas chambers is his own incompetence. His own... Into fucking stellar incompetence. So, please stop saying those Jews wouldn't have died if Hitler hadn't been born. There are Hitlers all over the fucking world. There always have been, there always will be. You cannot prevent the existence of Hitlers any more than you can prevent the existence of rapists. Male or female. All you can do is try to prevent the conditions that foster hysteria. Because if you get to a little stretch of land hot and bothered enough, then one of those Hitlers is going to cause a fucking fission reaction. Thankfully, this is the internet. 
where echo chambers do sometimes leak into each other. Thanks to people like me. One last little acid test. Onion. To assume an entire group appears one way or another based on your limited experiences with only a few individuals is ignorant. Then tell me what you think of men's rights advocates. See if you can do it without forgetting what the fuck you just said. See if any of you can actually remember the last thing you fucking said when you are fucking talking. Because if you can't, and you just make up another fucking slurry tank of double think, then your brain is not retaining the things that healthy brains are supposed to retain. Some things are not necessarily supposed to be washed. How does your garden grow? Quite contrarily, Mary. Contrarily. Life is but a dream. A great man once said, Life is just a ride. I hope future generations don't misinterpret that. <laughs> Oh, you called it like he's hard, Maggie. Goodbye, fuck.